Boys and girls, today you're going to be converting weight or mass using the metric system or U.S. Customary. Now earlier in the year we did this using the metric system, so a few quick reminders on how we do that. Now we already know that we go from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we're going to use multiplication. If we're going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, we're going to use division. Here we have an example of going from a larger unit to a smaller unit of grams, kilograms to grams. So I know I'm going to be using multiplication. I'm going to use my 12, multiply by how many grams are in a kilogram. And I look at my chart here and I see that there's a thousand grams in a kilogram. So I'm going to be multiplying by 1,000. I end up with 12,000. So there are 12,000 of the grams in 12 kilograms. Now sometimes you have to go from a large unit to a very small unit. In this case we have 12 kilograms equals how many milligrams. Alright, so we have the same thing. We're going from a larger to a smaller unit, but I have to consider not only how many mil milligrams are in a gram, but then again how many grams are in a kilogram. Alright, so how I'm going to do that is I'm still going to use multiplication and I'm still going to use my 12. Well, what am I multiplying the 12 by? Well, I know that there are a thousand milligrams in a gram and there are a thousand grams in a milligram. I mean a thousand grams in a kilogram. So what I need to do is multiply a thousand by a thousand then I'm going to multiply my 12 by. Now I know that a thousand by a thousand is going to be a million or 10 to the sixth power and 12 times 10 to the 6th power or 12 times a million would be 12 million. So it's almost a two-step process when you do those. Let's take a look at some of the U.S. customary. These are the ones we use in the United States. If we look up at our chart, I see that one pound and the abbreviation for pound is LB. And remember we talked a little bit about this in, during the school year that the LB almost looks like a 16, which is a good reminder that there are 16 ounces in a pound. All right, so one pound is equal to 16 ounces or OZ is the abbreviation for that. And then the other measurement we have is for large weights, a hun one ton is equal to 2,000 pounds. So when we are converting from a larger unit to a smaller, we're going to use multiplication and from a smaller unit to a larger, we're going to divide. So in our first example, we have six tons is equal to how many pounds? Well, I know that I'm going from tons to pounds. I'm going to larger to smaller. I'm going to multiply. I'm going to look at my chart to see how many pounds are there in a ton and there are 2,000. Six times 2,000 is going to be 12, and x my three zeros, is 12,000. So 6 tons is equal to 12,000 pounds. In our next example, we're going to take 368 ounces and convert it to pounds. So we are going from a smaller unit to a larger unit, so you're going to use division. And I'm going to ask myself, how many ounces are in a pound? I know there's 16. So my 368 ounces will now be divided up into groups of 16. I'm going to come over here and find a spot to do some long division. And I'm going to divide by 16. I know 16 goes into 36 two times. 2 times 36 is 32. I'm going to subtract and I'll have 4 left over. I'll bring down my 8. 16 goes into 48 three times. Let's try that out. 3 times 6 is 18, and that's 48. Yes, that works. And I have 0 left over. So I can see that 368 divided up into groups of 16 will give me 23 pounds. All right, there's a couple of things that you might want to watch out for. When you're in the metric system and you might hear someone say six and a half grams, that would be written instead of using a fraction in the metric system. You might say six and a half, but we would write it like 6.5 or six and five tenths 
which is equivalent to six and a half. So if I want to take six and a half grams and convert it to milligrams, I would have to say 6.5 times how many milligrams are in a gram? Well, there's a thousand. And I know that 6.5 times a thousand means I'm going to have to make 6.5 a thousand times bigger. So I'm going to do that by moving my decimal place to the right, three place value places, one, two, three, decimal point, annex my zero so I can see it's going to be 6500. Zero, zero. In US customary, if someone says three and a half pounds, it can be written using a fraction. So you can either say three and one half, if I want pounds, LB, I want to convert that to ounces. I would say three and a half times how many ounces in a pound? 16. And then I would do the math that way. Or I could say 3.5 times 16 equals how many ounces. So either way would be acceptable in writing my answer. Okay, boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed doing today's uh, activity. Have a great day. Bye.